Hi everyone, today Phone Arena is taking a in-depth look at Verizon's VZ Navigator application. We currently have it loaded up here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which gives us a nice 5.5 inch screen size. When the app is loaded up, you're uh, presented with this uh, carousel view here to uh, start off with. Uh, it shows uh, little bits of tips here for uh, roadside assistance, your local weather, gas prices in the area, movies, uh, tips, also uh, concert events, and live events and performances. So it just continues to uh, cycle through that on the main screen. Up here at the top is a uh, search bar where you can uh, type in different uh, searches that you uh, want to look for. Do one here for Home Depot. And you can see it lists several in our area here. If we uh, select one of them, brings up information about the location and pressing on the go uh, button here in the center will navigate us to there. Uh, we're going to be doing that in the car in just a few minutes, so uh, stay with us for that. Um, you can also do a voice search on here as well. The Home Depot. And you see it brings up the same uh, list results there as typing it in. So it's pretty nice there that you can either type it in or do a uh, by voice. On the bottom of the main screen here is a go to icon. Pressing that, you can uh, look up uh, recent searches that you've done, or you can also uh, enter in an address or find a place. And what it has is a nice uh, categorized menu here for different uh, restaurants and bars, gas stations, lodging, shopping, emergency, entertainment and recreation, banks and ATMs airports, public offices and services, travel, tourism, personal services, automotive, and of course local Verizon wireless stores. You can also set up your home and work address there for easy navigating to and from there. Um, also uh, movies and events in the area and also uh, contacts that you can get to. The uh, map icon will show uh, where you are on a current map and at the bottom is uh, icons here if you want to like say have a bite to eat it will automatically populate with uh, different restaurants places to eat in the area that you can zoom into and by pressing on the bullets you can see there's a subway all-star pizza clamster's bar and grill which actually isn't there anymore and cafe or say you need to get some gas for your car. So here's a 7-Eleven, Chevron, or different banks in the area. So it's nice that you can use the uh, mapping to uh, show those different places in the area. Um, right now we have it on a satellite view, but you can also change this. You can turn the uh, satellite view off which shows just a regular uh, terrain view uh, right now we also have a uh, traffic enabled where you can see here the uh, green is a uh, pretty uh, smooth flowing traffic yellow is a little bit slow but uh, orange or red would be a lot of uh, congestion but you can also turn that off or on as well so it's pretty nice that you can get to those different uh, features here on the map screen. Okay, real quick here before we take this outside in the car with the live demonstration, just want to show you a couple little features here. Up on the top of the screen while uh, navigating uh, shows you where your next turn is going to be in the distance. Down here on the bottom also shows you uh, where you currently are and the time and distance. On the left side here, we'll show you current uh, miles per hour while driving. Uh, also above that, there will be another icon that will show the current speed limit on the street. Um, even though while in actual navigation mode, it doesn't show 
um, satellite view. It does have different views you can do. Right now we're doing the uh, 3D perspective. You can also change this to a 2D top view and also a, a dashboard view and list which just lists out everything. So it's nice there that you can actually have some uh, different views here for the navigation. Change it back here to 3D perspective. Another thing you can do is change different route options like if you want to avoid highways, toll roads, ferries, or carpool lanes you can select any of those to avoid also if you're going by car or by bus, cycle, or on foot you can change that there as well. Another feature is you can look at the uh, traffic list which will show any accidents or delays in the area. You can see there's some uh, congestion outside due to some uh, road construction. Another option is detour. What it will do is show your current route but you can also change to a detoured route if you want to do that as well. Another useful option is here under the uh, traffic setting. Um, depending on current road conditions, you can have this set to audible alerts, which will let you know if there's a traffic congestion or an accident ahead. You can also turn that off, but the most useful is this uh, center one here, use traffic information to determine route. Basically what that does is it automatically will change the uh, route navigation based upon uh, speed limits in the area, traffic congestion, accidents and incidents. So if you're going to uh, some place and there's an accident and it populates on the screen it will automatically uh, reroute you if there's another route that will get you there quicker and avoid the accident. One of the newest features on VZ Navigator is there are currently 27 cities that have a 3D view on here. Uh, basically what that will allow you to do is like say if you're going down to uh, Fort Lauderdale and you're on vacation or new to the area you can install this. Um, as you can see Fort Lauderdale takes about 13 megabytes in size. Uh, Chicago much larger city is 76 megabytes and what that will do is show you uh, 3D buildings as well as uh, uh, roads and uh, road signs in the area so it's uh, nice that it's able to give you a little bit better a 3D uh, perspective on there but like we said it's currently f available for 27 cities. Alright so now we're going to take the phone out to the car and do some in-vehicle navigation. Okay we got the VZ Navigator app loaded up here you see the uh, main home screen we're going to uh, navigate to the uh, local Home Depot pressing the go button and it's going to navigate us there from our current moved. location. Get ready to turn right at the end of the road on Southwest 10th Street. Turn right, the end of the road on Southwest 10th Street. One mile, turn left on East Newport Center Drive. Okay, so as the screen shows us that when we get to uh, Newport Center Drive, we're going to make a right turn. A left turn, I mean at uh, Newport Center Drive, which is in about 0.5 miles. Okay, lights turn green and we're on our way again. Ready to turn left on East Newport Center Drive. East Newport. 
toward Center Drive. Then, get ready to turn right on Southwest 12th Avenue. Southwest 12th Avenue. Okay, we're gonna pause it here for a second because it looks like we got a little bit of a truck delay going on. Your destination is on the right. Destination is approaching on the right. 